What's going on, my lovely little slasher fans? Slay and Asher here, bringing you a much overdue episode of Tales of Zestiria. Sorry about the absence. I know I told y'all I was going to be back after the last one, but my cold, unfortunately, came back to bite me in the butt hard. And I'm sorry, folks, for the yelp. One of my dogs got touched by one of the cats and took it offensively. Nobody's hurt, but, you know, that's how it goes. But I'm back now. I'm still a little under the weather, so y'all might still hear me coughing once in a while or clearing my throat or clearing my nose. Just bear with me. As I put up on my, on my Facebook page earlier, I'm tired of illness slowing me down. I want to get back into this hardcore, so that's what I'm planning on doing. So, all that being said, I know where we're supposed to go now. We're supposed to go this way. So how is everyone doing today? Me, I am doing much better than I was a few days ago. <sighs> yes, there's that epic inhale again. It's still... I'm still not a... Actually, if I had to give myself a number right now, I'd say I'm probably more around 75, maybe 80% of what I was before I got sick. But... Uh, there's no point in stopping or trying to get better because it's obvious my body isn't going to do this willingly. So, we're just going to go ahead and continue on. And I'm actually not running blind anymore. I've got a, I guess you could call it a makeshift table set up in front of me. And I have my guide on it so that I'm not doing this blind anymore. And again, I'm doing my best not to let the button mashing sound be picked up by the mic. Unfortunately, I am a bit of a button masher at my lot in life. Saray's equipment and Lila's equipment proficiency increased. Advanced techniques, yada, yada, yada. Don't really care. Okay, how do I bring up my map? That is not the map I wanted. That's the map I want. Okay. So right up over in that area is the first place I need to go to get the first treasure chest. And we got another enemy coming in. Let's go ahead and take these guys down. So it's best to aim right after it attacks. Alright. Alright. Got through that fight fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and move on here. But like I said, how's everyone today? Everybody holding up okay? Staying out of trouble? And if you are getting into trouble, I i mean, I understand. Just keep it off the front page. And if you really, really, really get into trouble, don't name it after me. No kid wants to be named Slaying. Trust me. What do we got here? Is this an octopi? It is an octopi. Huh. What kind of creature is this? Be careful of those legs. They get longer. Really? That's mildly disturbing. Ooh. Me and McLeo went after that one hard. Man, we're doing pretty good here. Got a pair of amber boots and McLeo's. Proficiency equip- uh, Proficiency equipment see? Really? A fist- Equipment proficiency increased. Oh my god, I can't talk. Okay. That was treasure chest number one that I just picked up, which... I totally wasn't paying attention to what it was. Nice, nice. Run over here and activate this save point since it's probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and create a new save. Y'all know how I am. For each new episode, it's a new save. Let me see here. And then the other two chests are located to the south. Ooh, I missed a monolith. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I'm actually using my guide. And it just suddenly occurred to me that I totally blew past this monolith back here. How dare I? It's a rookie move. I know better than that. Okay, let's see what this one's got to say. Is that a monolith? It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Martial arts. By hitting a stunned enemy with your initial martial art, you can increase your blast gauge one time only. In other words, if you stun an enemy in the middle of an attack and cease the attack before restarting it with a martial art, you gain an increase in blast... <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, folks. An increase in blast gauge. Be careful not to chain together attacks. But, but aimlessly chaining together attacks is so much fun. It's what I do. It's what I do best. I'm, I'm just saying. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and sneak past what's going on over there. Let's go ahead and head on over here. There's two treasure chests waiting for me in this direction, and I'm going to go get them. And here's another octopi. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, I've got an octopus and some marmot. Ooh, man. That was... Wow. Lila not playing around. Saray, McLeo, Lila's equipment proficiency increased. Wow. Let's see here. Got ourselves another one of these flying. Really? 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 I was about to say, come on now. Alright. Let's bump. That is a powerful attack. Got her fang him, that'll help bring him to the ground. Alright, Lila's equipment proficiency increased. We're earning quite a bit of grade for most of these battles. Okay, here's treasure chest number one. Which is an amber spear, which I wonder if that's a better piece of equipment for Miss Alicia here. Let's see, amber spear. Ooh! It drops her accuracy a little bit, but she gets some defense and some attack out of it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. I'd be a fool not to. Let me check. It's a pair of amber boots I got. Oh, oh. They're a good bit of increase for him. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put those on. And I don't think any of this. Oh, wait. That one is... It'll reduce his blast gauge to three, which I don't want to do, but for him, give him a nice defense boost. So, okay. Right here is a draw point, a sage. Like I said, we'll be using those towards the end of the game. That's how I am. Trying, like I said, not to button or let y'all hear the button mashing, but it's kind of difficult. Alright, took him out with Shatterfang. Lila's equipment proficiency increased. I haven't seen a single equipment proficiency increase from Alicia. That's strange. But okay, let's go ahead and head. Is there any observation points to be had around here? No. Okay, just just making sure. I think I've got myself a boss fight coming up here in a few minutes. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do. I do. Against Ouroboros. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the save point. Which is right. Conveniently right here. And we'll go over there to the star and see what we got. save here no I wanted to over yes Ugh. okay let's head on over here and see what we got going what happened we're investigating the collapse of Grifflet bridge the cause may be flooding from the rain It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. You should evacuate. Finally, someone is talking some sense. Who are you? All right, do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the Shepherd. If he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the Water Spirit's rampage? Water Spirit? It's terrible. Destroyed the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of... monster! 
Silence! Enough with your nonsense! What? The water spirit! Run! Y'all still think he's talking nonsense? That's an order. Hurry! Ooh, he's an ugly. Ooh. Does this thing really look like a person to them? An Ouroboros? Why is it in a place that Let me see what my suggestions are. Okay, um, right, armatize, there we go. It looks pretty strong! Careful of his rising point attack. It spins and plunges into you. Blue fire! Break down! Break on through! Um, why am I not doing any dadgum damage? Open the floodgates! Open the floodgates! Bubble air! There it goes, finally. Alright. Ocean Blitz. Oh, he hit me. Open the Blue Ocean Blitz. Blue Flurry! Burst! Oh. Oh, my HP is sucking it up hardcore. Um, how do I... Um, um, yeah. Um, um. You use an apple gel on me since I'm not paying attention to my HP. Ocean Blitz! Blue Flurry! Ocean Blitz! Ooh, another pretty good hit. Alright, Ocean Blitz. Ugh, that rising coil attack hurts. I'm trying to remember how I'm supposed to. Right. Open the floodgates! Bubble Burst! Break down! Break on through! Open the floodgates! Bubble Alright, got him stunned. Let's hit him hard while he's stunned. Alright, alright. Got him! Even though I sucked that up a little bit. I got 10 grade. Everybody got to level up. Sorry, I learned a new art. McLeo learned a new art. Got an anomalous orb and got Windmaster Talisman Gale. Like I said, I sucked that up a little bit. Sorry, I'm a little out of practice. Switching Seraphim. You can change Seraphim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What? The Hellion turned into a Seraph? It's the other way around. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? And Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? So... Then the legends were true. So the wrecking of the bridge was all, all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. 
Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking in his boots earlier? <laughs> Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the shepherd. Okay there, Cap. Yeah, to me, like, like the shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt. Hey, TMI. Watching your language. <sighs> so there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? I shall become the lord of the land for the domain of Lady Lake. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Uno. And you must be the prime lord? You've picked a fine shepherd. I agree. Let's go. Father Brunor is waiting for us. Who is this? Alright, so we're heading back now since Father Brenor is waiting for us. Is this a discovery point, I wonder? Let's find out. We're gonna come up here and see. Nope. Okay. Just checking. Better safe than sorry, you know. Okay. Let's run back here to the save point real quick. Go ahead and throw ourselves a save. And make our way back to Lady Lake real quick to take Father Brenor, his new Lord of the Land. I had to think about the term there for a minute. I'm sorry. And I apologize for being so quiet during that battle. I was focusing on trying to work my strategy and not talk. I gotta learn to do both at the same time. <laughs> okay. Heading on back to Lady Lake. What a name for a town, Lady Lake. It's got a nice ring to it, though, Lady Lake. And I've said that entirely too many times now, and it's lost all its meaning. I'm going to shut up about it. <laughs> oh, there's one of them little coughs that try to escape every once in a while. Okay, let's cut across the bridge here. Across? Across the bridge. I'm not accosting the bridge. I'm going across the bridge. I can't talk today. At all. Not one little bitty even bit. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. Yeah, I know. Why do I save so many times? Because in the immortal words of the King Nappy, only you can prevent lost save data, and it's the truth. Let's run back in here real quick and go see Father Brenner. We know where we're going. I told you there are monsters in the underground. Aqueduct, I fought them. Alright, let's head right on up here to the temple. Alright, let's talk to Father Brenner. Oh, truly, this power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm, it looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. Heh. <laughs> 
But he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. What was that? I feel like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed. There are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. Like? For example... I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. This sure sounds like a pain to me. I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the royal palace. So this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? You are? I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland Government. I have come to invite Saray to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Saray? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... intimate. I'm sure this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, Your Highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia! Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. Please, you mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me. Blessing for Lady Lake region has been restored. Lords of the Land, it is now possible to access the Lord of the Land menu from save points in areas where the Lord of the Land has been unlocked. Fighting battles in those areas will raise the blessing level dependent on the grade you receive. Grade will automatically count towards the blessing level when you touch a save point. As the blessing level goes up, you will gain access to boons with various effects. Huh, cool. Lords of the Land, save point travel. Spend gold to move between save points you have previously visited. Set boons, enable various boons. Boons available depend on blessing level. Item offerings. Offer up items for grade. Hmm, good to know. Lord of the Land. Lords of the Land. Boons. You can enable boons to take effect within the Lord of the Land's domain so as long as you don't exceed the mas maximum boon cost total. Boons largely have battle-related effects. Raising the blessing level will both add new boons and increase the maximum boon cost total. You can raise the blessing level by earning grade in battle. Okay. We've got in an area where this boon has been activated, you can spend gold to move between save points you have already reached. Symbols will appear on your navigation map indicating the location of Hellions. Leave treasure chests for some time after claiming the treasure inside, and they will automatically refill with new items. We're going to turn that on. We're going to turn that on. And you know what? We'll turn that on. Why not? What kind of items do I have to offer up? I have 91 grade to the next level. Lovely. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we'll get into this a little more. 
consumed holy water of the falls, got ladylike proof of regeneration, and something else. Head out here to a <coughs> save point. All right. And we're going to bank this way. All right. I have a devil of a time trying to fix that bridge. Really, I'd have never guessed. Okay, let's run inside the inn here real quick. Hit the save point. See, at save points now, I can access Lord of the Land. Anyway, go ahead and save. Absolutely, yes I do. Alright, I guess this is as good a place as any to go ahead and end off today's episode. If y'all enjoyed today's episode, please be sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, slide on over and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate the support. If you want to keep up with the comings and goings on the channel, be sure you check down in the description. You're going to find links to social media as well as Twitch. Twitch will be forming in the next couple of months, so just be patient. I'm going to start doing stuff on there. Anyway, all that being said, y'all know who I am. I'm Slane Asher. I'm the guy who talks in your ear while he plays video games. I'm going to get out of here for right now, but y'all have yourselves a good one, and you know what? I'm going to see y'all on the next episode.